Video games have reached a high peak, but sometimes you see things that are just off. Bethesda's Fallout 4 is amazing, but not an exception. And that's why today, Game Ranks brings you 10 Fallout 4 game concepts that make no sense. Number 10, where people have picked settlements. Okay, so let's use a really obvious example. There's this factory called Makra Fish Packing. It's still standing. It's built like a factory with metal and concrete. It's spacious, protects you from the outside. Rain, forget about it. It's made of cement. Oh, and on top of that, it's surrounded with usable water. But is that where people settled? No. You know what they did instead? They went down the road to a rundown shack that doesn't even have a roof. You know, let's make our settlement vulnerable and uncomfortable at the same time. Being a real estate agent in Fallout 4 would be super easy. This cottage is a rundown piece of shit. Um, it's here. I'll take it! Number nine, some of the weirdness that is loot. So you just killed a legendary blood bug. They're bound to be carrying something with an attribute that you cannot craft yourself. But then you think about it for a moment. How could a blood bug be carrying around a gun or a sledgehammer or a really anything at all? How is the bug carrying this? Number eight, and to build on that last point, what the hell is up with loot descriptions? Particularly this little guy, the wooden soldier boy. Made of wood, right? Nope, ceramic. Why are you, why'd you name it that? I don't call my mom a wooden coffee mug. I don't call my mom's arts and crafts projects wooden useless junk. Number seven, whoever trained the raiders to be perceptive and look out is a moron. I mean, obviously it's artificial intelligence, but let's not bother with that. Let's talk about it like it's real. I mean, you can literally alert some raiders to your presence and then kill the one that you alerted. And the second one will be like, oh, well, I guess he's gone. We can relax now. It's like the second one is really just trying to get out of work, and the first one having seen you is creating work, so... Well, he's dead, so I don't technically have to do that anymore. Then he goes and gets pizza or something, hangs out with his friends till 11. Oh, naughty raider. Number six, when you get to the institute, you probably have a whole bunch of questions, and then you can't ask them. I'm trying to do my best here not to be spoilery, because I know a lot of people haven't played the game yet, or haven't gotten that far, but when someone says to you, you must have many questions. It typically means I'm going to get to ask them because I do I have, I have many questions and I didn't get the answer to any of them, particularly the big one. Why? Number five. Okay. I understand that power armor is probably going to take more energy than a generator, but I sincerely doubt that the power packs that work with both would legitimately power a generator for 200 years and power armor for a half hour. I understand that power armor is armor that is very powerful and power has to come from somewhere. I understand it's not like powering Christmas lights around a shack, but 30 minutes? Come on. Number four. Okay, you can walk near something that's radioactive, like a puddle or some barrels or something, and you get life-threatening radiation poisoning. But hey, carry around a massive number of units of nuclear material, you know, to power your power armor and your generators, unevenly, might I add. And whatever, it's fine. Nothing happens. Who cares? Number three, and this one has bothered me from the beginning beginning of Fallout in the 90s. Yes, I'm that old. They've got nuclear power plants. They've got hovering, talking robots that do your chores for you. They've got magnetic trains. Or did, but they didn't have color TV. Really? Nothing. Nothing was in color. No entertainment, no news, no cartoons, no nothing. It's all in black and white. Meantime, they're ahead of us, because we don't have domestic robots. Do you have a domestic robot? I don't. I want a damn robot with an English accent that does everything for me. I don't want to do things, but at least I've got a color TV. Number two, do you remember number nine when the enemies can give you stuff that there's no way they could carry? What about when you've got a dog as a companion and you're like, my inventory's getting a little heavy, dog. Could you handle that? And your dog's like, yeah, sure. I'll hold on to that modded rocket launcher that launches nukes, your several assault rifles, all that ammo and your pistol for you. I'm a dog. Dog. That's what I'm here for. In reality, the dog would be more like just quiet. He, he's a dog. He can't talk. Seriously, your dog can't carry all that stuff. <laughs> 
And finally, number one. You know how in real life when you need to put on something like a shoe or a shin guard or something small and minor and, you know, non-intrusive. Have you ever had to strip naked to do that? Well, apparently, nuclear apocalypses change everything you know about clothes. At least I figure that's why, because it's the only really big event that's happened in the world that changed everything. So why not clothes? So yeah, why am I taking my clothes off to put on a belt? Is it not possible to just put the damn thing on without stripping? It's not that I have a problem with being naked. I'm not a never nude. I don't like doing useless stuff is all weird, I know. So you've been playing Fallout 4, correct? I say it that way because it seems like no one in the world isn't. Have you seen any weird game concepts? Stuff that just doesn't hold up if you're talking about it like it's real? I'll save you the trouble. The answer is yes. We'd like you to share whatever that is in the comments with us. We enjoy it, frankly. Also, if you haven't already, please click the like button. It helps us a whole lot. And if you aren't subscribed to Game Ranks, why not do that right now? We upload new videos every single day of the week. And the best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. Stay in the loop! As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. And we will see you next time, right here on GameRanks.